Welcome back, everybody. I'm sorry it's been a couple weeks since we've been together, but I've been extremely busy as the director of a volunteer ESL program that's had to go online because of the pandemic. And also because of that, I promise that from now on, I'm only going to be telling inside jokes. Now, as you probably know, it's hard to make predictions, especially about the future. But I'm going to make one that in eight to 10 months from now, there's going to be a bit of a baby boom. And then I predict that 13 years after that, we're going to have our first quarantines, if you catch my drift. Now, you may recognize this mouse from a previous video where Lenny was fetching for us. Lenny, want to get this? Go get it. And Layla, you go, Layla. Up there, Layla. Go get it. Go get it, Layla. We'll see if she gets it. Anyway, today I'm going to be talking about adding and subtracting fractions again because we need to get a common denominator. The lowest common denominator is preferable. So let's say you have the following three denominators. 14, 21, and 27. We want to find the smallest number that those three numbers go into. You can call that the lowest common multiple. Same thing. So what's an easy way to do that? Well, let's break down these numbers into their smallest common prime factors. 14 is 2 times 7. 21 is 3 times 7. 27 is 3 times 3 times 3. And then to get the lowest common denominator, I know I have to have at least a 2 and a 7 in it because 14 has to go into it. So that would be 2 times 7. I know I have to have a 3 and a 7 in it because 21 goes into it. There's the 3, but I don't have to have another 7. I've already got a 7. And then I have to have three threes, but I only need two more because I've already got this one right here. Now, if I multiply that out, let's see, 14 times 27, that's 10 times 27 plus another 4 times 27, so I think that's 738. <laughs> If I want to find out what I would get if I just multiplied those numbers, the easiest way to do it is to multiply by the 7 I didn't use, and uh, let's see, the, the 3 I didn't use, in other words, multiply this by 21, so if I multiply this by 20 and add one more, I'm pretty sure that's 7, 9, 3, 8. You can always check on a calculator, but let's just do one more. Let's say we had the numbers... 40, 45, and 48. These are bigger numbers, so it's going to be a little bit harder. 40 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 5. 45 is 3 times 3 times 5. And 48 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 3, if I'm not mistaken. So the lowest common denominator, or the lowest common multiple, has to include those numbers. So that's going to be, well, 40. I need to get two threes. I've already got the five, so I don't need it. I need four twos. I've already got three, so I need one more two. And I've already got that three here. So that would be 40 times 18. What's that? 720, I believe. And then to get the common denominator by just multiplying those three, I have to multiply by, let's see, 1, 5, and um, 3, 2's, and a 3. So that's what, times 120, if I multiply that by 120, multiply by 100, multiply by 20, add them together. So I think that's going to be 
86,400 subject to checking on a calculator. That's the way to get a lowest common denominator. Look how much smaller this is than that. 21 times smaller. And look how much smaller that is than that. 120 times smaller. So don't just multiply the numbers. It'll work, but this is a much better method. So hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe. I really appreciate your sharing my videos far and wide. And hi. Thank you very much. See you next time.